Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Thursday, May 17th. It's the seventh week of Easter and week six in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 105, verse 1 to 22, and Matthew chapter 9, verse 1 to 8. <clears throat> now join me in singing verse 4 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. We are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we rear, Almighty Maker to your name? Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, O oh, give thanks to the Most High and call upon God's name. Alleluia, Psalm 105, and please recite it with me. <clears throat> Alleluia, O oh, give thanks to the Most High and call upon God's name. Make known God's deeds among the people. Sing to God, sing psalms, and talk of all God's wondrous works. Glory in God's holy name. Let them rejoice that seek the Most High. Seek God and God's strength. Seek God's face forevermore. Remember the marvelous works that God has done, the wonders and the judgments. O seed of Abraham and Sarah, servants of God. O children of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, God's chosen. This is the Most High, our God, whose judgments prevail in all the earth who remembered the covenant forever, the promise for a thousand generations, who made covenant with Abraham and Sarah. The oath was sworn to Isaac and Rebekah and confirmed to Jacob, Leah, and Rachel for a law, to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when you were but a few in number, just a few strangers in the land. When you wandered from one kingdom and nation to another, I allowed none to do you wrong. Yes, I reproved kings for your sakes, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, God called for a famine upon the land and destroyed the whole supply of bread. God sent Joseph before them, who was sold for a slave, whose feet they put in chains, whose neck was bound with iron. Until the time that God's word came to pass, the word of the Most High proved true. Pharaoh sent and loosed him. The ruler of the peoples let him go free, making Joseph master of Pharaoh's house and ruler of all of Pharaoh's possessions, to bind the princes at his pleasure and teach the senators wisdom. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh, give thanks to the Most High and call upon God's name. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. And after getting into a boat, Jesus crossed the sea and came to his own town. And just then some people were carrying a paralyzed man lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blasphemy. But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand up and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he then said to the paralytic, Stand up and take your bed and go to your home. And he stood up and he went to his home. And when the crowd saw it, they were filled with awe, and they glorified God who had given such authority to human beings. Here ends the lesson. Save your people and bless your inheritance. 
Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We give you thanks, dear God, for the marvelous deeds and wonders you worked among your people. Share with us your strength and never let us be parted from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.